So today's video is going to be focused on an epic upper body workout. I target a little bit of all the upper bodies. My upper body days, I've been incorporating a little bit of everything as I am on a glute growth focusing phase for the next eight weeks. Upper body days, I am including two upper body days with my workout. I am doing a little bit of biceps, a little bit of triceps, shoulders, and back included in my routine. I'm still working out five days a week. This is what my week has been consistent of. So I'm still focusing on hitting all muscle groups, but I, most of my lower body exercises, however, are going to be focused more on that glute development. If you haven't seen my glute workout, I'll post that here so you can take a look at that one. That one's gonna go through what to do prior to the workout, how to best activate the glutes prior to those exercises. But overall, I still wanna hit every muscle of the body. So I break it down into three lower body days and two upper body days. Still getting those muscles for maintenance purposes. If you wanna check that out, here is my workout for my upper body day. Starting off with some mobility movements just to get the shoulders warmed up. The main point to this exercise is to warm up those shoulders. So keeping it at a 90 degree angle on those elbows. And we are then going to jump into some around the world. Again, this is for that shoulder mobility. Get the muscle warmed up. I usually do for my warm up sets before actually jumping into the exercises. I usually do about two sets of anywhere from 10 to 12 repetitions on each exercise with a very light weight. I'm only using about five pounds here. That's all that I do for warm up, and then I get into my actual working sets. Now that we've hit a little bit of shoulders for that warm up, we're gonna hit the back on this exercise. So this is just a bent over row, very lightweight again, using five pounds. You wanna bring it up towards the hip and squeeze the back at the top just to really get that muscle working. We are going to do some lateral raises and then jump into our actual working set. My first working set, I do more just to test out the weight, see if I can lift a little heavier. So I use it more as a working warm-up set to kind of see if I were to put five pounds more, 10 pounds, depending on how many reps I can get with just the bar itself. I ended up putting 10 pounds on each side of the bar and you could do this exercise sitting down or standing up, whatever you feel most comfortable. It is a little bit harder sitting down because it focuses more on solely lifting with the shoulders. It also forces you to keep that core engaged. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling to get those last few reps, but I got it up. Now we are going to do some more lateral races. Now, as you can see, I have bumped up the weight on this set. I am bumping it up to 10 for this set, and then I ended up finishing them up at a 12 and a half. And these I'm doing four sets of 12. It's funny though, I have been doing lateral races for years and it always seems like I can't get past that 12 and a half pounds. For our biceps, we are gonna do some hammer curls and I'm doing as many as I can on my last round here. Just to get a really good pump on those biceps. For the back, we are using a rope extension here on the cable machine. We are going to bring out the elbows at a 45 degree angle that hits the back portion of those shoulders. And then for our final exercise here, we're gonna do tricep extensions on the cable machine, making sure that those elbows are locked in to the side of your body and bringing it straight down at a full extension. That's it for today's video. I really do hope that you enjoyed my upper body workout. Let me know if you give it a try. If you enjoyed this workout, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.